You lift up your head. The king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? Good morning, Abundant Life. When you join our worship services, you never know 
what you're going to get from week to week. Just expect God. But let me give you one tip real quick. Anytime you see me giving the intro, I'm not good at that. Typically, you know, we have others in the ministry who do a wonderful job. But it's only befitting based on the guests that we have today that I be here and give the introduction. I want to give you 30 seconds really quick to just trust me and start pushing like and share. Please, if you have not liked our page, go ahead and do that. It'll bless you. And take 30 seconds to click share. Let somebody else know that we are here and God is about to move. You don't want to miss anything on today. God has something in store for you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. A few more seconds. Go ahead. Click share. Click share. Click share. What if everybody would just click, you know, one time share? What if we all shared this? Where would this message go? Where would this ministry go? All right, with that being said, it's my honor and my privilege. I have not met a couple more humble than uh, Lady Rosita and Minister Leon Richardson. They're going to bless us in music ministry. Those that have witnessed them in our outdoor services, y'all know they don't play. And also, Minister Richardson is going to bring the word of God and bless us on today. You are in store for a treat a blessing. You will never be the same. You won't leave like you came. We thank God for each and every one of you. Get ready. Let go and let God have his way. Praise the Lord, everybody. I said praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Sunday morning service with Abundant Life Ministries. We thank God for Pastor Johnson and First Lady Johnson. We come to welcome the presence of the Lord right where you are. You can do me a favor and share this video. And I need to see lights and hearts. Amen. And we're going to command our hands. We're going to command our, our tongue, our lips to give God worship. To give God praise because he is worthy of all the glory. Can you do me a favor and put your hands together like this? command my soul to bless the Lord. I command my soul to bless the Lord. I command my soul to bless the Lord. I command my soul to bless the Lord. Say, I command my hands to give him praise. 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 Oh, oh clap I your hands. I command my voice to sing his praise. I command my voice to sing his praise. I command my voice to sing his praise. Yeah. Boys, boys, a new song, a new song, boys, boys. 
just to point out like I command my feet to leap for joy. 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 Come on, get up on your feet. I 
worship and adore you, Lord. I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Oh, oh. Oh. I love you, Jesus, and I worship comments and say Lord I love you Lord I love you Lord I love you more than anything oh and I love this song that it says Jesus Jesus how I love Calling your name, oh, 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 oh. Jesus, my sweet Jesus. Every day, your name is the same. Can you say that with me? Oh, God, Jesus, my sweet Jesus. I remember a time yeah. I felt so all alone. You might have felt all alone. But when I needed you, Jesus. When I needed you, Jesus. All I had to do was call. Sometimes in the morning. Sometimes late at night. But when I get up off of my knees, everything. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, sweet Jesus, Jesus, how I love, how I love, calling your name, calling your name, oh, my Jesus, Jesus, doctor in a sick room, Jesus, Jesus, lawyer in a court room, every day, every day, every day. Remember a time when I felt so all alone, but when I needed you, Jesus, all I had to do was call. Didn't matter if it was early in the morning or late at night, but when I got up off of my knees, everything was all. Jesus, Jesus, how I 
change you never waver we have come to that part in the service where everyone can participate please type in the comments it's offering time and i am so gracious to get up here at this time and thank you who are watching us now so many of you are consistent supporters to the ministry and we're able to do what we do because of your giving if you've been watching abundant life over the years and especially during this pandemic i know that you have seen the progression of ministry that we have done in the services we went from the pastor's living room all the way to a virtual platform if you're enjoying the background and what you see and the clear picture that you see it's because of your giving god has blessed us during the pandemic we have consistent music we have a musician we have a sound technician and we're able to do that because of your giving i want to thank you it is a blessing to give it's been working down through the years and if it didn't work we would have stopped it by now but obviously giving is working i want to tell you a testimony about my great niece cherish at the age of eight years old, she was going through a situation, a personal situation. And we know that young people go through things. And she gave her tithe. Her tithe was $1. And she put it in an envelope and she gave it to me to deposit it into the bank. Not long after that, Cherish went through a very, very serious situation. And I still had that seed. And before I deposited, I said, Lord, you see this seed. You see the intent of this child. She has a personal prayer request before you. And I want to let you know that the Lord heard her. She said, Mama always told me that God hears babies and children. And let me tell you, God heard cherished prayer. And last week, we told you to put a name on it, put a title on it. Cherish did that. She did that, and let me tell you, the Lord has blessed her, the Lord has healed her, and the Lord has delivered her out of her situation. All you need is faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed. Come on, somebody. I believe that she's being taught the right way now, and that when she gets older, she will be able to share that testimony with others about how God has been there for her since she was a little girl. David said, I once was young and now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. I encourage you to give on today. Thank you, Abundant Life, for your tithe and offering. Thank you to our supporters and those who have partnered with us across this country, Los Angeles, California, Philadelphia, Chicago, Joliet, Belleville, Illinois, St. Louis, uh, Missouri from all over this country you have been giving to us and we thank you for it we appreciate it God has great things we have a pastor with a big vision we have a pastor with a big vision and he wants to do even more in the ministry thank you in advance for what you have given you can see on the bottom of your screen the multiple ways that you can give to abundant life ministries we thank you for what you have done and we thank you for what you're doing right now on paypal and cash app god bless you you never change you never waver i put my trust in you you are my leading post you are my leading post i can lean on you you are so consistent. You are so faithful. I can lean on you. Yes, I can lean on you. When my heart is over with. 
When I'm overwhelmed, when I'm frustrated, God, I can lean on you. Yes, I can lean on you. I'm leaning, I'm leaning, leaning, I'm leaning on you, God. In the worst of trials, in the worst of situations, while I'm in a pandemic, and it seems like my loved ones and friends are leaving here left and right, I put my trust in you, I put my trust in you, God. I can lean on you, God. I can lean on you, yes. I'm leaning on you. I'm leaning on you, hands and just tell the Lord thank you. God, we thank you for every trial. We thank you for every test because we realize you brought us through. God, if you did it before, you can do it again. And We thank you. Whatever, God, abundant life the members are facing, God, you're able to turn it around. God, for we understand and realize that all things work together. For the good of them that love the Lord. God, we just thank you. We bow our heads to you. We praise you now. God, we ask you to anoint me. To speak a word of encouragement. God, anoint these lips of clay. Make my tongue as of a pen of a ready writer. To speak your word. To declare your truths. To give wisdom and exhortation. In the mighty strong name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for being here. Truly, it is an honor to stand before you. We thank God for the, the shepherds of this house. Pastor Johnson and First Lady Johnson, my wife and I, we thank you. We praise God for your ministry, and we love you with the love of the Lord. We thank you for giving us this opportunity. We thank God for the Abundant Life Ministries, for we know that God is doing great things here we thank God that we are a part of the great thing that God is doing in this work. And we will continue to be a part of the great thing that God is doing in this work. For I declare and decree that this ministry will go to another level. That it will prosper and it will be in good health. And I, pro I prophesy and decree and declare revival, restoration. Even in this season, I still decree and declare revival and restoration to you. Revival and restoration belongs to you. And we believe that we shall receive in Jesus' name. Wherever you are, if you believe that word, go ahead and give God a praise. Go ahead and clap your hands and open up your mouths and tell the Lord, thank you in advance. Hallelujah. We bless God. Amen. If you have your Bibles, we're going to move quickly to the Word of God in Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. Amen. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1. Amen. The Bible says this. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, 
and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. I'm going to read that one more time. Stand fast. Won't you type in the comments, stand fast. Therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Amen. We thank God for that scripture. Uh, one more passage of scripture, chapter or John chapter 8, verse 31. The book of John chapter 8, verse 31. That is John, St. John chapter 8 and verse 31. And it says these words. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Verse 32, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. I just want to talk briefly about standing firm and fighting for your freedom. Stand firm or stand fast and fight for your freedom. I believe with all of my heart, mind, body, and soul that this is the season of victory, restoration, and freedom. Amen. For the believer, this is not just for everybody. This is not just for cousin Nim and, you know, anybody and everybody, my auntie Nim, my uncle Nim. No, this is for the believer that has sold out themselves, that has given themselves to the work of the Lord. I believe that this is a season of victory, restoration, and freedom for the believer. Somebody shout freedom. Amen. And, you know, you might hear these words and it may seem like how it don't look like it's going to be a season of freedom, victory, and restoration. But the thing is, we don't go according to what it looks like and we don't go according to how it feels. For this is a faith walk. The Bible says the just shall live by their faith. For the Bible declares, Paul says in the Corinthian church, for we walk by faith and not by sight. In other words, every day I'm walking by what God said, not according to how I feel, or how it looks or how it seems or how my bank account looks or what the doctor report has said I'm walking according to the word of God why because his word is true his word is sure hallelujah what he says matters not what the lawyer is saying not what the doctor is saying not what people are telling you not what the devil is telling you but what God said about your life is true and I heard the old mother says when God said it it settled it hallelujah it's settled in the heavens and it's settled in the earth come on and give God praise if you believe that what God spoke on your life that it is settled you know I love the Bible because it has a scripture for everything for the Bible says heaven and earth shall pass away but what God spoke over your life what God said, it's settled. Hallelujah. In other words, things and people may go, people may come, but the word will be steadfast. It will be firm on your life. Amen. If you would believe that you should receive. Now check this out. In order to walk in what I'm telling you, in order to walk in victory, restoration, and freedom, we must continue in the word continue in the word meaning consistency so many times we we start off running well but something hindered us for the bible says you did run well but what hindered you we might have been hindered by our job we might have been hindered by things of aspirations and ain't nothing wrong with going after things in this life to be successful but whatever it is don't let it hinder your walk with christ 
Don't let it hinder your walk with God. Hallelujah. But you got to be consistent. We can't allow our children or our family or the people at the church or the people, hallelujah, across the street, our neighbors or, or, or at our schools or where we work at to distract us. Amen. We have to keep our focus because we're on a mission. God wants to use us. God wants to make us into a testimony. God wants wants to make us into a an epistle known and read of all men hallelujah god wants to make you out of a mouth a mouthpiece for him he's making you out of a masterpiece he's making you uh, what hallelujah displays his glory he wants you to be a glory carrier but there is a prerequisite there is a standard of God God says I want you to continue in my word because when you continue in my word when you continue in my word it produces faith amen if you continue in the word then are ye my disciples and the Bible says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free continuing in the word being consistent in the word produces faith. Put that in the comments saying continuing in the word produces faith. It gives faith results. Amen. The Bible says this faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. In other words, in order to get faith, you got to get in the word. And when you get in the word, it produces comprehension. It produces an understanding. The word hearing here means to comprehend. It means to understand. It means to, to, to have a access in knowledge of understanding the scripture. See, the devil doesn't want you to understand the word of God. Because when you understand and know who you are and whom you serve, it produces a, 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 a confidence on the inside of you and when you're confident about who you are and who God is the devil can't deceive he can't distract he can't detour you easily hallelujah but when he keeps your mind blinded from what the word of God is saying and when he keeps your mind blinded to what he's spoken over your life hallelujah it's easily to, to distract you he's easily distracted you from the purpose and the calling that's on your life so in this season saints of God we have have to continue in the word you got to study to show yourself approve you got to stay in the word hallelujah sometimes uh, my wife and I before we go to bed I'll turn on my bible app uh, and I'll put the bible app and I'll let the bible read to me while I'm asleep because even though my body is asleep uh, my spirit is still up uh, so while I'm asleep I'm still eating the word of God uh, hallelujah when I'm traveling over the dangerous highways uh, when I'm going back and forth to work uh, sometimes I'll put it on pastor johnson on his old messages and i'll start hearing the word of god and i'll start uh, feasting on what he's saying uh, what are you saying you got to submerge yourself uh, in the bible you got to submerge uh, yourself in the word of god uh, till it becomes a part of your life uh, you got to eat sleep drink the word and then on top of that you got to obey uh, the word of god uh, i'm talking about standing firm uh, and fighting for your freedom and the only way you're going to stand firm and the only way you're going to get free from the tactics of the enemy is that you stand and you stay in the word of God. You got to continue in the word of God. The Bible says if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples. Your faith in the finished work of Christ produces victorious living. Listen, your faith in the finished finished work of Christ the finished work meaning his death his burial and his resurrection your faith in the finished work of Christ produces victorious living for the Bible declares this this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith hallelujah yo yo your faith in what Christ did on the cross when he said it is finished hallelujah your miracle took place then my God your deliverance took 
place then. Uh, your healing, your breakthrough took place then. And see, the enemy don't want you to understand and realize uh, that when God died on the cross, uh, when they pierced him in his side, uh, when he shed his blood and blood and water uh, came out of his side, uh, when they nailed his feet to the cross, uh, when they put a crown of thorns uh, hallelujah, on his head and all the blood went down, uh, he don't want to re- he don't want you to realize uh, that that blood went to the hallelujah to the temple uh, hallelujah, and it tore the veil uh, the veil that separated us uh, the veil that kept us apart uh, the veil that separated us from getting to God uh, hallelujah, his blood uh, gave us access uh, his blood gave us access uh, hallelujah beyond the veil uh, and now our faith uh, grants us access uh, so when we believe God in the finished work uh, we're saying God I believe in what you did uh, and it gives us access uh, into the glory and to his presence somebody ought to give God praise that you got access hallelujah you have access Jesus says know the truth and the truth shall make you free the truth is Jesus and he is the finished work hallelujah Jesus says I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh to the father but by me I am the door to freedom I am the door to your breakthrough I am the door, hallelujah, to your salvation. I am the door, God, to your breakthrough, to your miracle. All you got to do is tell God, here I am. I surrender. I give you my life. I'm tired of trying, trying to do things on my own. I'm trying, tired of going through the same cycles. Believe it or not, some of you have been through the worst fight of your life. You You've thought about giving up. You've thought about throwing in the towel. You've thought about giving up on salvation. You've thought about giving up on the ministry that God has put on your life. Because the struggle has been so heavy. But God says my finished work hallelujah, grants you freedom. So stand firm. Stand fast. Be steadfast. Unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know, your labor is not in vain. Your preaching, Pastor Johnson, is not in vain. Your serving, Deacon Larry Lee, it's not in vain. First Lady Johnson, your giving, your tireless efforts that you give to the body of Christ, it's not in vain. It's not in vain. Saints of God, Abundant Life Ministry, hold on. Stand firm. Stand fast. And get your freedom back. Get your deliverance back. God says, I know it's been rough, but I'm bringing you out. This is your season of victory, of the miracles, signs and wonders. I know it's been rough. I know it's been rough. Saints of God, you don't even have to tell me, but I know you've been fighting in your mind. The devil has been battling you, but I come to tell you, be of good cheer. Weeping may endure for a night, but you got some joy coming. Joy cometh in the morning. Check this out, saints of God. Abundant Life Ministries, listen. You've been under pressure. You've been under pressure. And you know what? Hallelujah. Pressure is not always bad. Sometimes pressure produces the good out of you. Listen, listen. Hallelujah. They squeeze the olive. They put pressure on the olive to get the oil. They put pressure on the grapes to get the juice. And the best of the olive is the oil. The best of the grapes is the juice. Hallelujah. And some of you have been under pressure, but the best of the believer is the anointing. It's for your anointing. Hallelujah. God says I'm getting ready after this test, after this trial. I'm getting ready to anoint you. I'm getting ready to give you a fresh fire. I'm getting ready to give you a fresh anointing where you can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Somebody shout, yeah. 
Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise. Stand fast. Stand fast in the liberty. Stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made you free. And be not entangled with the yoke of bondage. Don't you go back to where God has brought you out of don't you go back to where God has brought you out of hallelujah stand on the word of God many are the afflictions of the righteous but God shall deliver them out of them all stand stand strong stand firm don't you give up don't you throw in the towel don't you quit don't you quit but square your soldiers and tell the Lord here I am send me I'll go send me I'll go I'll go for you I'll go with you just lead me Lord some of you are like Moses hallelujah don't send me unless I got the anointing and that's what your prayer was send me Lord but I don't want to go without the anointing so God had to send some struggles your way God had to send some things your way hallelujah to get you into a place uh, to continue in the word uh, because when you continue in the word uh, God says I can use you you got something to say uh, when you obey the word uh, when you continue in the word uh, God says I can lift up uh, a standard uh, for when the enemy uh, comes in like a flood uh, the spirit uh, I said the spirit uh, the spirit of the Lord uh, will lift up a standard uh, God is lifting up a standard even now just lift up your praise lift up your praise lift up your worship come on come on come on come on he's turning it around he's restoring her he's sending restoration and I'm not saying he's going to do it God is doing it right now because now faith is the substance of things hope for hoped for the evidence of things not seen if you can grab hold to the word of God God will start shifting he'll start turning some things if you would give God praise He'll turn it around for you. Oh, right there, right there. Come on and give God praise. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God told me to tell you this. That you have a sound. And that sound is your faith. And your praise is an expression of your faith. Your praise is an expression of your faith. Your faith has a sound. And that sound is your praise. That's why your faith had to be tested. So when you give God praise, it's real. It's authentic. Hallelujah. You might be in a midnight season right now. But if you would dare give God the sound of faith that he's listening for. I see God even doing this right now. He's trying to find the sound of faith. He's listening. He's trying to find the sound of faith. Oh, I dare you to open up your mouth right there and give God the praise. You might be in a midnight season right now. And you might be like Paul and Silas. The devil tried to block you. He tried to shackle your feet. He tried to shackle your hands. But the Bible says, and that midnight, Paul and Silas stood firm. They stood fast in the liberty. Hollywood Christ has made them free. It says they begin to sing and give God praise and pray. Hallelujah. I can imagine if they was praying. They said, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No, 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 no. No other help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, whither, I said, whither shall I go? They begin to give God praise after they prayed. See, just don't pray. But when you get up from prayer, stand up and give God praise. God for doing it already. And if I could just think about that scenario right now, I can imagine they said this. My hope is built on nothing less.
Jesus that Jesus blood and his righteousness I dare not trust the sweetest frame but holy lean holy lean holy lean on Jesus name I'm leaning on Jesus I'm not leaning on the doctor I'm leaning on Jesus I'm not leaning on my mom and my daddy but I'm leaning on Jesus I'm not leaning on the Lord I'm leaning on Jesus I'm not leaning in the school system I'm not leaning on the government Hallelujah. but I'm leaning on Jesus because what he says it settles it I'm standing firm on the word of God I'm standing firm on the word of God hold on child of God weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning many are the afflictions of the righteous but God shall deliver them out of them all God says if you would stand up right now and give me praise I'm going to bless you like I did Jehoshaphat when the enemies came up against him and they began to stand firm on the word of God they stood they began to pray they fasted and then they began to congregate and they prayed some more and then all of a sudden the spirit of prophecy fell on Jehaziel hallelujah and the spirit of the Lord told them you will not need to fight in this battle but set yourself oh my God so won't you put that in the comments set myself set yourself set yourself means to position yourself and then he said stand still put that in the comments stand still meaning stand fast on the word of God stand firm he said set yourself stand still and I love this part he said and see the salvation of the Lord I dare you to put that in the car I'm getting ready to see it now I'm getting ready to see her God is getting ready to manifest itself Holly and all of a sudden woo, all of a sudden Jehoshaphat bowed his head in worship woo, there's something about a believer that when they're in a struggle when they're in a battle they bow down and worship that's real worship that's authentic worship when you can bow down when you can tell God Lord I still love you Lord I still praise you even I'm in the fight of my life even I'm even though I'm in the greatest struggle of my life I'm still going to be faithful to you and to the work that you put in me hallelujah he said the Bible says in second Chronicles that Jehovah that bowed down and worship and when he got up the people not Pastor Johnson but the people hallelujah not just the leaders but the people hallelujah in this season we're going to have to unite our praise it can't just be the mother praising them it can't just be the pastor and the first lady praising them hallelujah but every deacon every elder every mother God every usher every secretary got to give God praise and it said the people they responded how are you responding when God give you a word they responded and they began to give God praise I'm getting ready to go but I want to tell you this last thing as they begin to give God praise the Bible says as they begin to give God praise the Lord sent ambushments ambushments are surprise attacks in the military the Bible says God sent ambushments against their enemy what are you saying brother Leon I'm saying that if you would give God praise right now he will send ambushments in your future how the devil has plotted he schemed he's got some traps waiting for you he wants to get you distracted from your time of freedom from your time of victory but if you would give God praise right now God will set ambushments God will set ambushments the surprise attack on the enemy so on the count of three I'm going to ask you to stand up if you have not and we're going to praise God together we're going to give God a praise right here hallelujah because God is so good and he wants to move on your behalf but he's looking for your faith where is the sound of faith where is the sound of faith hallelujah God is listening and he's waiting to move on your behalf but hallelujah you gotta do something you got to do something so on the count of three 
on the count of three I want you to give God a good praise out of your belly let it flow out hallelujah out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water come on and let it flow out I'm ready now one hallelujah Sunday two oh y'all ain't ready y'all ain't ready oh come on come on get some room where you at now if you're driving keep your hand on the steering wheel and just use your voice but if you in a house I dare you to stay and get some room and I want you to forget about who's on the left who's on the right who's in front and who's behind you and I want you to give God praise one two three somebody give God praise somebody open up your mouth and give God praise yes Lord hallelujah stand fast on the word of God right there come on give God a praise it's in your feet it's in your feet it's in your feet it's in your hands it's in your hands praise them praise them praise them praise them praise them Come on, right there, right there. He's setting ambushments right there. Your praise is breaking chains. Your praise is destroying you. Hallelujah.
We're not going to take away from the anointing that we received on today. But just go in peace. God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you is our prayer. He said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Go and be blessed in Jesus' name.